Superman, one of the most powerful comic book characters of all time. Last son of the doomed planet of Krypton, he's unbelievably strong, unbelievably fast, and unbelievably powerful. Randall Thor, the Dragon Reborn, the most powerful channeler of the one power to ever live, and the chosen one for the light. What would happen if these two characters came face to face in a death match? Who wins? Join me today as we answer that question in the newest edition to the Versus series where we take a look at what would happen when characters from the Wheel of Time face off against characters from other fantasy worlds. Today, we'll see who wins, Superman or Randall Thor. Today's video will carry a spoiler rating of red with major spoilers all the way through the end of A Memory of Light. We'll be talking about the end of the story today, so if you don't want spoilers for The Wheel of Time, come back to this video later. All right, so here's how this will work. I'll be rating each of the characters on the following categories to help rate them against each other, but sometimes a character is gonna be more than the sum of their parts, so the highest score won't necessarily always win these battles. The ratings are just to help me think through, see where they stand against each other on various attributes. I'll be rating the characters on their durability, or their ability to take damage and keep on coming. This could be a natural durability, or it could be an ability they have that grants them extra durability to take less damage, stuff like that. Next is physical attributes, this is their their strength, their speed, their endurance. Then we'll be rating fighting skills. So this is their ability and skill with combat. Having power is one thing, but this measures their ability to use it. Then we'll be talking special skills. So this is magical ability, skills they possess, or something that falls outside of the rest of these categories. Next, we have intelligence. This is measuring their brain power and strategy, which can matter greatly in a fight. And lastly, we have their equipment. This will measure if they have equipment or weapons that increase their ability to fight. We will also operate under the following assumptions. So characters are at the top level of power in their respective stories. Now, this is going to be a little different in this episode as we'll be taking Rand at the top of his power in the Wheel of Time books, but we will be taking Superman as his normal top level of power. There are rare times in the comic books where they give him like godlike powers. We're not going to go down that direction because that's usually only for an episode or two and then they pull him back to normal. We're not going that route with comic books, so we'll keep it there. Number two, they keep equipment that was definitely in their possession for longer than a few moments and that they used in combat in the stories. Number three, they will keep their powers and abilities from their world, even when fighting someone from another world. Number four, characters are only given five minutes to prepare to the fight, but they will get five minutes. And number five, there are no moral qualms about the fight. They will fight to the death regardless of their personal philosophies or if they're good guys or if they wouldn't normally do that. They're going to for the sake of this argument. All right, so if you like this type of video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And with all of that out of the way, let's find out who would win between Superman and Randall Thor. All right, let's start by talking about Superman. Most of you know Superman's backstory. He was sent away from his home planet of Krypton by his parents as the planet was undergoing a calamity that meant the end of his species. His escape craft made its way to Earth and due to his alien physiology and our yellow sun, he gains immense power and becomes one of the most powerful individuals in the universe. Randall Thor was raised in the Two Rivers by his father, Tamal Thor, but is really the son of an Aiel clan chief and Shail, a maiden of the spear who was actually the runaway daughter heir of Andor. He is the dragon reborn, the prophesied savior and destructor of the world, tasked with defeating the Dark One and his minions, to which he ultimately succeeds in doing. So who would win between these two incredibly powerful people? Well, let's break it down. First, let's start with durability. Superman is one of the most durable characters in the DC universe. He is virtually invulnerable. He cannot be harmed by almost any physical means and has shown feats of extreme durability. He can take blows from creatures and basically gods that share his strength. He's been shown to be unaffected by extreme heat, extreme cold, or any form of energy weapon. Superman is virtually indestructible. Additionally, he has incredible stamina. 
He is not limited by the need to eat, sleep, or drink, and can fight continuously with the stored power of yellow solar radiation in his body, which means he can pretty much outlast any opponent. Superman's only real weakness is that he can be affected by magic, or if he's under the influence of something like kryptonite. Given all of that, Superman is going to get a perfect 7 out of 7 for durability. Randall Thor is a human being, albeit an immensely powerful human being. He can be damaged in the same ways as any other human. He bleeds. He can certainly be killed. Rand does have some defensive abilities that are part of his channeling powers, though. He can create barriers with the one power that make him very difficult to harm if he knows the damage is coming. Now, because he has the ability to protect himself with the power, he gets a slightly higher score than a regular person would, so he's going to get a 5 out of 7 for durability. Overall, Superman gets the easy victory here for durability. Next, we'll talk physical attributes. Superman is possibly the strongest character in the DC Universe. He has beyond astronomical levels of physical strength. He's strong enough to move or break apart planets. He is truly on another level of physical strength. He's also one of the fastest characters in the DC Universe. Possessing near the level of speed is the Flash. He is so fast that he can approach the speed of light. When you combine that with his strength, that makes Superman one of the most physically powerful characters in any comic or story anywhere. Easy 7 out of 7 for Superman. As for Randall Thor, again, he's simply a human being. That being said, he is a human that is in very good physical shape, but nothing superhuman. Rand gets a 4 out of 7 here. Again, another easy victory for Superman, blowing out Rand in this category. Now let's move on to fighting skill. Superman has trained with some of the best hand-to-hand -hand combatants in his universe, including Wonder Woman and Batman. He is also very skilled at using his own abilities in combat. Now, even when he's depowered though in the comics, he's shown to have the ability to defend himself well due to his training and due to his willpower. Superman gets a six out of seven for fighting ability. Now Randall Thor is one of the most skilled fighters in the Wheel of Time universe. He is a blade master with a sword. He's trained to kill with his bare hands, something that he actually does in the story. He's able to fight multiple people at once with ease. His real skill though comes with the one power. When he is at his fully realized state, he is the same person as Luz Theron Telemann, a man who was one of the greatest wielders of the One Power of all time. He is able to fight off others with ease with the One Power, and for this reason, he gets a 6 out of 7 in fighting skill. Now this one's close, but I will give the slight edge to Superman, as he has fought against foes with similar skill sets to Rand, but Rand has never fought anybody with Superman's skill set. All right, let's take a look at the special skills. Superman, as we have mentioned, has godlike strength, speed, and durability. He also has the ability to fly, shoot heat vision from his eyes that can melt lead. He has superhuman senses, can see with x-ray vision, has superhumanly fast reflexes and thinking speed. Superman is truly a powerhouse. He gets a six out of seven here, only because much of what he does is not unique in his universe, and there are others that exceed his power in some of these things. Randall Thor is the most powerful channeler of the One Power of all time. He is as powerful as it is possible to be. He's able to create powerful attacks with the elements, open gateways to travel to other places, which he can also use as a weapon, by the way. He can travel to the world of dreams at will, and he's able to control much of the things that happen there. He can create force fields with the one power. He can turn invisible. He can disguise himself. He knows weaves such as compulsion, where he can control somebody. He can also create balefire, which essentially makes anything it touches cease to exist. In addition to all of this, Rand is the most powerful Taviran of all time as well, meaning that the pattern and all events move around him, often preventing him from getting hurt or causing things to go his way. Rand gets a 7 out of 7 as he is the supreme power in his universe. I'm going to give Rand the edge here simply for the sheer scale of things that he can do and the fact that he is essentially a god by the end of the story. Next up we have intelligence. Superman is very intelligent and a very skilled tactician. He also has enhanced computational abilities. One of his main powers is the ability to process information at a superhuman level of speed. Superman is able to outthink many of his opponents. He gets a 6 out of 7 for intelligence. 
Randall Thor is accounted a very shrewd tactician, somebody who's very calculating and skilled with tactics in battle. He is shown to know a ton. Basically, he's lived longer than most people. He's more than 400 years. He's had a great education and his experiences from the time of the Age of Legends give him a great deal of knowledge. All that being said, he is still just a human, and while he is intelligent, he is not superhumanly so. So he's gonna get a five out of seven. Superman again takes the edge here. And lastly, we have equipment. Superman truly doesn't use any equipment that he always possesses or that greatly increases his power. So he gets a one out of seven here. Randall Thor, on the other hand, has some of the most powerful objects that enhance his power anywhere. Primarily, Rand has the Choden Call, the most powerful Sa'angriol ever, uh, that can basically make it so he can unmake the world if he chose to. The Choden Call would give him godlike power, and it's thought that he could either challenge the Creator or the Dark One with those things. So that level of power. Rand is going to get a 7 out of 7 for equipment. Rand takes the easy victory here. So before we pick a winner, I want to give a quick thank you to the video sponsor, Audible.com. Audible is the world's largest depository of audiobooks, and the Wheel of Time audiobooks are flat out amazing. We had Kate Redding and Michael Kramer at WatCon this year. They're pretty awesome. They read the books and it's really truly a performance. You all need to check it out. If you've never listened to an audiobook, you can get one for free by checking out my Audible link. All you have to do is head to www.audibletrial.com forward slash Nablus, sign up for the free trial. You can get any of the Wheel of Time audiobooks or any other book you choose for free. You get to keep it whether you keep Audible or not. It's really that awesome. There's no commitment. Go get the book if you've never done it before. Check out the audiobooks. It's a totally different experience. So again, audibletrial.com forward slash Nablus. All right, let's get back to the video. All right, so what is the verdict here? Who wins, Superman or Ram? Well, in total, Rand got a 34 out of 42 on our scale. Superman got a 33 out of 42. And although that's really close, this is a very difficult fight to judge. On one hand, Superman is so physically superior in just about every way that it should be an easy choice to pick him. He can move faster than light, faster than Rand can even think with his attacks, basically negating any advantage that Rand might have otherwise. And if there was no prep time at all, I think that would be the case every time. Superman wipes the floor with Rand. However, part of the rules of this is that each of the characters are getting five minutes of prep time for battle. And we're going to assume that they have at least passing knowledge of each other's abilities. Now that changes things. Rand has many things that he can do to prepare for a fight that would make it very difficult for Superman just to blitz him and end it. He can make himself invisible. He can create a shield around himself with the one power. He can set wards and weaves that are triggered when Superman comes near. All Rand needs to do is get one good shot at Superman and it's over. Balefire is the ultimate weapon, and Rand also has compulsion in his skill set, even if that isn't something that he'd really want to use. Superman's best bet would be to keep moving around so that Rand can't get a shot at him, but to damage Rand, he's going to have to get closer and possibly set off his wards or traps with the one power, which might tangle Superman in air long enough for Rand to get a shot of Balefire or compulsion off. If Rand truly knows about Superman's weaknesses as well, he could open a gateway into the world of dreams and there create kryptonite out of nothing and weaken Superman. Either way, there are multiple ways for Rand to win the fight, but it just takes one slip and Superman wins. He makes one connection, Rand is a goner. But given the preparation time, I'm gonna give this one to Rand six out of 10 times, but I could be convinced otherwise. Again, without the prep, this is Superman every single time. So what do you guys think? Who would win and why? Let me know in the comments of the video. I'll have a pinned comment there. Reply and let me know. Make sure to also like this video if you like this type of content and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Wheel of Time book and TV show content. That's all I do here. Huge thank you to my patrons for supporting the channel. I appreciate all that you do. If you want to support the channel, if you like the content, click the link in the description of the video. My top level patrons get to pick video topics, participate in the direction of the channel, and you see behind the scenes content. Also, if you enjoyed this video, check out one of these videos here that you also might like. Thanks for watching and until next time, peace out.